We now move to questions without notice from councillors. Does any councillor have a question without notice? Councillor Cordova. Thank then you. Councillor Bastone. Thanks very much, Mayor. My first question is about the Sustainable Hobart Action Plan. Hobart City Council is to create its own pumped hydropower while purchasing solar energy from households under its draft Sustainable Hobart Action Plan released yesterday for public comment. My first question on this is, what is our council's response to this announcement? Mr. I think we'll take it on notice. Mr. Cora, Thanks Council very Cora. much, Mayor. And my second question on that is, inside this action plan, goal two under mobility includes uh, the, quote, installing the infrastructure to fast charge electric vehicles in Hobart, and that is listed as having a short time frame. Will Hobart's public push for a much larger fast charge electric vehicle network disincentivise economic investment in Kingborough from fast charging networks? And if so, what are we going to do to rectify this? Notice. Take it on notice as well, Councillor Cordova. Thank you. I've got another question, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. Um, so turning our attention to the quarterly summary action report, uh, which is on page 154, um, my first question on this is, the Kingborough Community Resilience Working Group is not currently operating. I was just wondering um, if there's any detail uh, that we'd like to um, share on that and when it's planned to reinstate that group's operations. Mr Smee. Uh, through you, Mayor, the, the working group was working up until um, December of last year, but due to um, poor attendance, the, uh, it was a agreed to close down that group for the time being. Um, there has been a school of thought that it is best to deal directly with communities um, in terms of their local resilience rather than try and have a overarching municipal working group. Um, but that's something that our emergency management coordinator is still working through. So I'm not sure if we will be reinstating that group. Um, as I said, our emergency management coordinator is evaluating the best approach. Thank you. Turning our attention now to page 156, in the section where it says prepare a local historic heritage code to protect historic cultural heritage, there's no comment in that section and I was wondering, um, could we please explain that situation and, and why there's no comment? Mr Arnold. Uh, through you, Mr Mayor, Councillor Cordova, uh, that uh, is directly um, answered by the fact that it's a resourcing issue. Um, we, for example, uh, last month received a record number of uh, development approval applications, uh, just under 80 for the month, uh, so it's a resourcing issue. Thank you. My question now is about the Kingborough Climate Change Action Plan. Um, my understanding was that that is also under-resourced, I believe it might be to the tune of 300,000. My question is, um, what, to what extent is it under-resourced? What is the plan to get that back on track? General Manager. Uh, through you, Mr Mayor. Uh, Councillor Cordova, that has previously been uh, the subject of a re brief report to Council. Uh, it, as uh, Council would be aware, uh, the funding in this financial year was not available uh, in the budget that Council adopted to fully address all of the, the actions identified. Um, and. Uh, in relation to anything specific, I would have to take that on notice. Thank you. My final question on this report, Mayor, is um, concerning the Conningham public toilets, uh, which remain delayed. I was just wondering, um, because I've received lots of community correspondence about this over a long period now, um, what's the time frame for the Conningham public toilets? Mr Smee. Uh, through you, Mayor, the... The hold-up is due to the fact that it is a mainland contractor involved, but we remain hopeful that the project will be completed in time for the forthcoming summer. Thank you. That's all for me. 